Hello friends, my name is Tushar Jain and I help students like you ace their MBA interviews. Uh, welcome to this session of economics in 10 minutes uh, where we discuss uh, a concept from economics and try to understand the theory and practical implications behind that concept. So today's concept, uh, today the, we'll discuss about fiscal deficit. I'm sure you would have heard about fiscal deficit in newspapers in your day-to-day -day reading. So uh, uh, recently there have been a lot of economic events like budget, demonetization, digitization of payment. So you would, GST, you would have been uh, hearing about fiscal deficit a lot. So let's understand what exactly fiscal deficit is. And before we go in the context of the government, let's understand as a private individual what what fiscal deficit would be. So uh, it's very synonymous to our day-to-day -day life. Let's understand that example and then we'll expand, expand it to the example of the government. So let's say as an individual, you have an income I and you have expenses E. Okay. Now the difference between your expenses and income. If your income is less than your expenses, so this term is called fiscal deficit. So what it essentially means is, let's say you are making 100 rupees, but you are spending 110 rupees. So you are spending more than what you are earning and that's why your fiscal deficit is 10 rupees. Okay, now you must be thinking that if I am earning 100 rupees, how can I able to spend 110 rupees? From where this extra 10 rupees come from? So the answer is you take a loan. You borrow this money from someone and you, then you spend it on whatever things you 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 are expending it, expending it on. Now the question here is, so if you have taken this 10 rupees as a loan, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Now the answer is it depends. So if let's say you want to buy a new mobile and you are taking this 10 rupees to buy that mobile so that you can flaunt it in front of any other uh, in, in front of your friends, then definitely it's a bad thing. But let's say you want to do an MBA uh, because you, you feel that uh, doing an MBA will improve your skills, it will improve your knowledge and going forward you will be able to increase your income. So that's why you take a 10 rupees loan and then you do your MBA. So in that case, this fiscal deficit or a loan of 10 rupees is a good loan. Now let's extend this concept and understand what governments are doing. So if I talk in the context of the government, fiscal deficit consists of two words. Fiscal, which means government revenues and deficit, which means shortfall. So as we saw the example of an individual in the same manner, if we talk about the government, if the expenses of the government is greater than its income, okay, it's called deficit. It's called fiscal deficit. And what happens when deficit happens? So government is spending more, it's earning less. So what will the government do? Government, government will finance that deficit. Government will borrow money that deficit. And when the government is borrowing money, it has to service the loan which means it has to return the principal and it has to pay interest on that principal. Now again the same question, is it good or bad? So if a, running, if a government is running short of money, so is it good or bad? And again the answer is same as I said earlier, it depends. So if the government is spending that money with the right intentions in mind, so it's a good thing. What those right intentions would be? that the money which I'm spending, I'm building some capacity so that my future growth is higher, so that my growth is fueled. Okay, if that is the intention of the government, then definitely it's a good, good spending. And what can be some of the examples? Infrastructure. So if the government is spending more on, let's say, infrastructure, which can be highways, airports, electricity, uh, dams, uh, railways. So the, the end idea is that the entire infrastructure will result in productivity improvements of our population and the end result would be that my GDP as a whole will improve because my productivity will improve. Another thing can be so if the government sees that it needs to support fledgling industries or industries which have a future 
some some uh, period down the line but at the moment they are not profitable so government can give them give them subsidies and say that okay you perform you start your operations and uh, going forward uh, we will remove those subsidies but at the moment i'll i'll fund those subsidies so if my 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 fiscal deficit or the what we say my expenses are towards these things it's a it's a positive sign but if it's just splurging then it's a bad fiscal deficit so for example the government says that uh, we will double the salaries of all the employees without any reason so the government an election year is coming and government just wants to soothe the employees so that's a bad spending so in that case your your expense is a bad expense it is not it doesn't make economic sense and that's why your deficit is bad and obviously unnecessary subsidies so if you remember a few years back till few years back government was giving subsidies on petrol and diesel which was nowhere contributing to the gdp of the nation it was a it was just a a way in which the government was soothing its distributing freebies to its citizens so now the government has uh, uh, stopped giving subsidies and you would have noticed that the fiscal deficit has reduced which we will definitely discuss in our further slides now again the question comes why excess of fiscal deficit is bad so first of all let's understand that we we recently discussed that fiscal deficit can be good fiscal deficit can be bad however if the government is continuously running fiscal deficits above a particular limit they are bad irrespective of the intention of the government now let's understand why so fiscal deficit is an unnecessary burden on economy why because the government has borrowed the money and the government needs to service the loan which means government needs to pay the principal and government needs to pay an interest on the money which it has borrowed so what it essentially means is so government fiscal deficit is expenses minus income and this thing is running way too high so what will government do government will try to improve its expenses and government will cut short it sorry government will improve its income and it it will cut short in on its expenses which means the government will start spending less on the projects let's say a highway is being built built and fiscal deficits become too high those highways those ports those electricity plant power plants would be stopped because they they all form part of the expenses expenditure of the government okay so the important important projects of the government will be stalled so eventually what will happen as we said that if you are if the government is running continuously in high fiscal deficits government has to reduce its expenses which relates to here and government needs to increase its income now what is the income of government it's largely the tax so essentially when the government is running in high fiscal deficit at one point or the other it will be rising tax it will be raising taxes so which will have a direct impact on the citizens so that's why fiscal deficit is bad because in the long run it will result in higher taxes what else fiscal deficit is will will result in so in any economy the money is the availability of money is limited let's say when you are not running a high fiscal deficit this part of the money is available to the private sector that okay you take this money you invest in plants you give it to labor and you produce more so that our gdp increases and this part of the money is available for the government now when there is a high fiscal deficit what happens is that okay i'll say this part of the money government will take along with this one so government will take this part of the money okay and government will start servicing it its loan okay so the money which should have been available for the private players to expand to grow is now taken by the government and pumped into servicing their loans so as a result what will happen the money is limited in the economy and borrowing the money leaves the productive private sector it leaves less money for this sector and if we see the demand supply theory theory your supply is limited but your demand is increasing so eventually what will happen your prices will increase in this case what's the price it's the interest rate 
it's the it's the rate of servicing a loan so your interest rates will actually rise so your loans will become costly and which would have a spiral effect your private sector would have less incentive to borrow and they will start producing less eventually what will happen your entire GDP will fall so your growth will slow that's why continuous periods of high fiscal deficits are not at all recommended now this is the current situation of India so our finance minister is trying to is trying to let's say the the government is going to expand expect is going to spend on expenditures what our finance minister and the entire government is trying to do is they are trying to build up their revenue streams for that matter at the moment our GDP stands at 3.2 percent oh, sorry our fiscal deficit stands at 3.2 percent of GDP oh sorry I'm so sorry at the moment uh, the the aim of government is to bring this fiscal deficit to 3.2 percent of GDP in 2017-18 now if the government has to reduce its deficit we have already discussed this what the government will do it will either reduce its, its expenses or it will increase its income and let's see what the government is doing government is actually trying to focus on this part increasing their income what government is doing they are selling their stake in productive PSUs for example BEML is one of the company in which recently the government sold its stakes so whatever money the government sells here it adds to the income then government is making taxation better how by introducing GST so once GST rolls in the people will people will have less incentive to uh, evade taxes and once people start this start uh, what we say filing for taxes and start submitting their taxes the government's income will increase in the same manner digital payments so when you start paying digitally those transactions would be visible and they would be taxed and again income increases Aadhaar link direct benefit transfer so earlier money was directly given to the people and corruption used to happen and money was siphoned off with the direct linking of benefits the money is directly going into the what we say the bank accounts of the people and corruption has reduced so the in a way expenses of government have reduced so this is what the government is doing and I think this is largely what fiscal deficit is you are not I don't think you need to under you need to do a PhD in fiscal deficit this concept is largely this is what the concept is and this should be good good enough for you to explain uh, to relate it to different economic scenarios so extending our discussion let's have a food for thought how demonetization impacts fiscal deficit of India how will it impact fiscal deficit so as I was just saying what demonetization has done it has brought in lot of unaccounted money into the system okay this money would be taxed so not entire money would be taxed but some part of this would be scrutinized by the IT department out of that some part would be taxed and uh, it would be given to the government so what will happen the government's income will improve and in a way over the long period of time your tax your ex fiscal deficit would reduce Let's take another example how GST will curb fiscal deficit so as we discussed uh, GST reduces the tax barriers and it facilitates your business environment so so businesses will have more incentive to pay their tax they have less in incentive to evade taxes and once businesses start uh, uh, what we say uh, giving taxes to the government the income will start increasing and that's how the government's fiscal deficit will reduce so friends this was all I had in this sessions I hope you learned a new concept and if you are looking forward to buying the complete course where we have around 20 to 25 similar concepts explained in a very easy and uh, comprehensive manner you can ping me on this number to inquire more about the course or you can send me an email uh, thanks a lot. I hope you had a new learning today and I look forward to our next session. Bye.